Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I've been uh, starting to receive a few more video responses on YouTube, and this particular video response is from uh, one of our community members at live.perillo.com, uh, Zach. This is Zach, and I'm not going to press play because unfortunately his audio came out a little muffled. You guys got to kind of watch that if you want me to play him back. It's got to be crisp and clean, uh, easy on the ears. But he was asking a very good question that I thought needed to be uh, addressed in, in many ways. We talk about a lot of digital nasties, uh, and sometimes the terms kind of get mixed up. And he was specifically asking what the difference between a Trojan, a virus, and spyware, or malware, or adware, all these words that we hear about, we know they're all bad, but what are they all about? Well, a Trojan, if you remember the, the old tale, if you saw the movie Troy with Brad Pitt, um, you know, they, they wheeled in this horse that was allegedly a gift for Troy, and it wasn't, and these people snuck out at night, and then they killed everybody, and then took over the city. Oh. Well, there's Outlook reminding me that I need to be recording this video. <laughs> Looks like I'm right on time. Uh, so, essentially, a Trojan in a digital sense is a program that's installed in your system uh, that's usually bundled with another program and you don't realize it's being installed and then it's running in the background and it, think of it as kind of a gateway, like a door that opens up that allows an outside person to get into your computer and do things. I mean, they could copy your files, they could look at your files, uh, they could see anything inside your system potentially. And so... Installing a Trojan is a very bad thing, and, and, and uh, in many ways a Trojan can help uh, an outside person uh, use your computer as a quote-unquote zombie to hijack your internet connection, send out spam from your computer, send out you know, more bad stuff from your computer, and you wouldn't even know it. Uh, so Trojans are very, very, very bad. Uh, m almost worse in different ways are viruses, and viruses are destructive. So whereas a Trojan just kind of opens a door, it's not destructive in that sense. A virus can wipe out your files. It can rewrite your files. It can make your system do wacky things. Uh, it's destructive. Uh, so viruses are bad in different ways. Spyware, um, you may install something and go through and you install a toolbar or you install a desktop widget or something. And if you did not agree to like a terms of service or an end user license agreement, also known as an EULA or a EULA, um, and it is sending information about you or your system or the things that you're doing to a remote server somewhere else in the world, that is spyware. It's spying on you. And so that's kind of how the term came about. This program that you may have thought was fine is not fine. And spyware is, is bad because, again, it's, it may be uh, sending information about you that you don't want it to send. It's spying on you. Adware has kind of become synonymous with spyware, but they are fundamentally different things. Adware is just there's an ad that's running inside a program. It may not be spying on you. It may not be sending uh, information to a remote server that's going to, you know, uh, I guess call you out and, and you know make you uh, feel vulnerable. It's just an ad that might be running, but it's not necessarily going to be spyware if it has an ad inside of a, a program itself. Um, but you know, the, it's all it's all stuff you have to watch out for. It's none of it's good, uh, and you know. I realize everybody's going to have a different opinion. Every day someone asks me, what do you use, Chris, to, to stop all this stuff? Everybody's got a different opinion, and by all means, you're welcome to share that stuff. What I'm more interested in, knowing that I've been infected before and how I've been infected, I'm interested in hearing how you may have been infected and what you should have done to stop it or what you did do to stop it, not necessarily with a program, because most of people get infected with spyware, ad, well, adware, I guess, uh, or uh, viruses or Trojans or any of these digital nasties by doing things on their own volition, installing programs they shouldn't be installing, uh, trying to, to register uh, programs that they downloaded from file sharing networks, uh, you know, trying something that their friend told them to try when their friend wasn't on the up and up or they just didn't realize that it was a bad program to share. Uh, you know, a lot of it is just having a clear understanding that you know, just because something can be installed doesn't mean it should be. Just because you are looking for a way to save money by downloading an illegal pro a program illegally doesn't mean that you should. You got to be careful with any and all the stuff that you find on the internet. And even email can be a vector for sending uh, viruses and, uh, well, 
other types of digital now, and there are tons. Those are just the three that he was asking about, and I was trying to keep this short and sweet. Uh, of course, we'll talk about uh, other bad things that might happen at some point in the future, in, in because I'm sure you got questions. People have been asking this stuff every single day. So uh, leave comments, follow-ups, remarks, or of course, you know, swing by the chat room. Maybe you know of a, a tip or trick that we hadn't thought of before. I'm always into learning about new stuff, new tactics, new techniques that hopefully everybody else can benefit from. At least right now, we've got 145 people watching live. I think it's because we're doing a webcam giveaway today. Although I'm hoping to find a sponsor so we can do a giveaway every single day. I'm hoping, keep your fingers crossed, that we can find a sponsor that can do that for us. But until then... Uh, you're welcome to swing by our community. People have been pasting the link. They love doing that, and you're welcome to swap by anytime. Live.perillo.com.